Hey guys, good evening. I don't know that I should say that, I'm very scared. It looks like we got a full trailer or teaser trailer, or I don't know, more on scary stories to tell in the dark. Have I told you guys that I literally had nightmares about that Scarecrow Herald? Like for years. I wouldn't go visit my friends down the street at night because of it. I would run home if I had to or make my mom drive like five houses to come pick me up. It was terrifying. That book gave me nightmares. The pictures in that book were, ah, uh, no. But I'm going to do it. Here's my trailer action, but I'm not happy about it. Also, I'm totally going to go see the movie because I'm crazy. And it's Guillermo del Toro. Oh, he's going to do such a good job with it. It's going to be so scary. All right. Here we go. I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. Spiders. Oh, I don't want to see him. No. Oh. Oh. What was that one? The spot? Is that what it was called or something? And the big toe? No, I had scary stories. I had more scary stories to tell in the dark. And then there was even more scary stories to tell in the dark, I think. Why I tortured myself as a child, I don't know, but I did. And now I'm going to torture myself as an adult and watch it and restart the nightmares. Harold the Scarecrow is the scariest thing in the whole world. I know the people were mean to him and that's why he did it. I will never be mean to a Scarecrow in my entire life because that, not that I ever would to begin with, but I don't care. I'm not okay with it. Why are they doing this to me? <sighs> you guys, comment below. Did you read these books? Which story was your favorite? Which one was the scariest for you? I, Harold stands out by far the scariest. I was so scared because I would feel like I was going to see Harold on a rooftop holding out skin of a kid. I just, I swore I imagined it so many times. I had nightmares that had happened. Ugh. Mm -mm. No, that's, that's the one that was the most for me. And then didn't they have one where, I see, I don't know if it was a scary story to tell in the dark, but where there was like a bride that hid in a box. They were playing hide and seek on their honeymoon, which is a weird thing to do. And she hid herself in a chest and she got locked there. I don't remember if that was that, that book or a different book, but mm, mm -mm. I'm going to watch it. It's Camel del Toro. It's going to be so good yet so horrifyingly, terrifyingly. Ah, no. Ah, like I said, comment below with your favorite one. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mama's Geeky. I have some amazing things coming in, up in April. You don't want to miss them. They do not involve a scarecrow hanging out uh, bloody skin to dry in the sun. So don't worry about that. They don't include that. I hope. I hope. Oh my God. Ah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reaction, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. If you're looking to grow your YouTube organically and quickly, head to mamasgeeky.com and check out my YouTube services. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at mamasgeeky. Thanks, guys.